Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As I told you on many occasions, sometimes the information that we need, we get from other articles, not the ones that supposedly deal with the issue. For instance, as I told you, sometimes they discuss the glasses and say, hey, these glasses are fantastic, blah, 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 blah. And then in another article, when they discuss the iPad, they say, well, you need some glasses to um, read uh, from the iPad and these glasses are not good. So you find out information regarding the iPad related to the glasses, but not in the article that supposedly tells you about the glasses. So. We've been told that the Russians, for a few months ago already, uh, have been losing ground because of the Ukrainian counteroffensive, which is, they say, steadily gaining, you know, territory back, liberating. Isn't that what you heard? I think that's what you heard. Now, we have another uh, outlet here that um, comes from the war zone, and they claim that actually Russia has gained the most ground this year. Again, iPad, glasses, remember? They tell us about the glasses, the, the glasses that the Ukrainians are advancing, the Russians lost, blah, blah, blah. It was an article, I think it was an idiotic article, a few days ago saying that the Ukrainians, it, I think it was a uh, British uh, politician or a military, I can't remember exactly who he was. He was that, he said, or I think it was Stoltenberg, said that Ukraine liberated half of the territory conquered by Russia or something like this. And now we have this little article here. Look at it. Ukraine situation. Report, Russia has gained the most ground this year. How is that possible? How could be both uh, true at the same time? Now, one of these guys are lying. And as I said before, I think a little switch was turned on when these guys are allowed to report from time to time or more, increasingly more, about what actually happens. I made a video yesterday about um, Holly. I think that's uh, Holly. Uh, what's his name? Can't remember his first uh, first name. Josh. Josh Holly, the sen uh, senator, um, Republican. Doesn't matter if he's Republican or not. It doesn't really matter. And he talks about exactly this: that he, in a meetings with the White House and the experts been uh, he's very alarmed what uh, about what the news news are in Ukraine which is the Ukrainians are not doing what publicly he said uh, are doing like they're winning well let's see what this article has to say at least a little bit here at the beginning so it says despite all the bloodshed destruction of towns and farmland and the loss of war materi materi material on both sides, little territory has been gained by either side this year, but Russia achieved the largest net increase in territory, according to the New York Times. In a sobering graphics-based story, the publication reported that ultimately, and I'm quoting the front line, after months of grueling combat and heavy casualties remains largely unchanged. It says overall, Russia has gained 331 square miles, while Ukraine has gained 143 square miles compared with the start of this year. The Russian net gain of 183 square miles is smaller than either New York City or Kiev. Well, I uh, I'm <laughs> agree with that, but the point is, uh, these guys are advancing in Zaporozhye, the other guys are advancing in Kupiansk. Is that what it is? Could be, could be. But the problem is, again, if you, after you make the toll, is the Russians gained more than the Ukrainians. So, yeah, you can have your operation here, but at the end, if it goes like this, what's going to happen? Somewhere, you have to uh, have less territory gained than the other ones. You know, it's like eating a, a, a pie. It's a pie right here, and you're eating out of the pie, but I mean eating more. At the end of the day, you end up with what? You ate this much, and I ate this much. But in the end, who got the most? These guys. And I'm going to beat you up because I'm stronger. I ate more. I have more energy. And I'm going to take the pipe from your stomach by making you vomit. Oh, sorry for that. Anyway, so I think it's been a, um, I think it's been a, an order. I'm not an order. 
a signal it's better put a euphemistic uh, term a signal given by um, some interest including the ones that uh, trumpet the signal from the white house that it is allowed now to tell us certain things that before uh, they were not told even though they happened and i'm talking about um, russian are you like it or not achievements or successes they have uh, <laughs> In successes as well but they they were not reported that successes were never reported never until about two three months ago maybe maybe more and then I noticed this guy started showing a different side of the story you know from let's say 99% of the stories in the West, free media in the West from 100% 99.9 where Ukraine is winning Russia is destroyed and now they turn to about um, maybe 95 uh, Russia, uh, Ukraine is winning 5% uh, um, Russia is doing something over there that uh, it's not uh, pretty, doesn't look pretty good for the Ukrainians or for NATO, not the Ukrainians. So anyway, here it is my friends, as I told you, sometimes we get information from sources. Um, yeah, this was related, but at the end, it um, denies the statement that the the statements, the reports that the Ukrainians are winning and so on. I read another uh, two articles I just skimmed through before before this one, and um, they said that the Pentagon and uh, NATO is thinking of uh, of a different uh, approach to the counteroffensive because this is not working. Another article said. Uh, uh, who was that uh, a pentagon chief or stoltenberg stoltenberg can't remember exactly but uh, one of these guys or these sides said that they didn't expect the same uh, articles about changing the um, tactics the whole thing uh saying that they didn't expect the russian defenses to be so tough Ooh, another thing you know but anyway here it is my friends as i always say look on the map when you look on the map look how what towns are mentioned oh they fight here okay then they fight here and then they fight here and you can follow and see where they fight actually on the map and you know which way the front is going but mostly in, uh, in, indeed it stays in the same spot supposedly now the ukrainians are doing a great job in bakhmut we'll find out thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just